that was a check for me. My scarf fell off. Alright, go ahead. We got the joint that we got from the So it is the morning time. I ended up pressing my hair out and then putting it in a wrap. But then this morning, my scarf fell off. So I put it in these two little space buns to kind of make it curly. Um, I'm going to wand curl it maybe. Jalen gave me that idea to like wand curl it so I can have it out for a little bit and then put it up into like straight bangs, messy bun or ponytail, curly ponytail situation. I was reading the comments in my one of my vlogs where I was talking about moving back home at 30. And thank you guys so much for the suggestions and the tips and yeah just realistic advice as well like you know just communication is key thank you for that and just thank you for all the love and stuff and support under the comments yeah i'm just very very excited so i'm gonna be moving for sure at the end of the month i did not break my lease i just wanted to clear the air and say i did not break my lease or anything like that because i would have had to pay extra like basically pay out the term of my lease and i kind of made this decision back in july so that would have been july august september october november five months of rent that i would have to pay um in order to get out of my lease so i decided not to do that because that's not smart if i'm trying to save money i might as well stay where i'm at and pay the rent instead of paying the rent just to break the lease that doesn't make sense that is what i am doing um you also gave like us some of y'all gave some really good tips on like saving money and stuff and i was like oh these are good i knew about the high yield savings account um i was already planning on getting one and then i'm just looking at two right now and then i knew i wanted to save like basically my rent money and put that into my high yield savings account so that that can just stack up as I go and then just keep putting extra money in there. So yeah, at the end we'll see like how much we save and stuff like that. Um, I'll let you guys know. I definitely want to be five figures. Like that's my goal. But I'm excited for this new uh, journey. I'm excited for this new chapter. Uh, you guys will probably come with me like house shopping and stuff like that so we'll be doing that type of stuff next year um as well as getting with like somebody that helps you with your credit and like loans and stuff like that especially for first time first yeah first time home buyer programs and stuff so we'll be looking into that type of stuff as well um they have a lot in maryland so I'm excited, nervous of course, because it's new. It actually feels like I'm adulting, like this is real for real now. But yeah, I got some boxes yesterday. I am gonna be packing up just my TV stand and my office closet right now and taking that back. To, well, yeah, taking that to my mom's this week. And then, yeah, just packing as I go. I am getting movers because this bed, uh, uh i'll be the movers for like the big stuff but i will be taking like the small stuff as i go i just don't want to mess up my bed and i don't want to mess up my couch or my desk or my dresser because those are the things that i care about so it's just those one two three four things that they have to get everything else i'll be taking gradually as i go Second, every minute, man, I swear that shit.
doing much today except for where's my like what <laughs> my mind and I wanted to update y'all on basically my Bible because I showed y'all the Bible that I got and I like it I highly recommend it I'm in the book of Psalms right now and I do like how easy it is to read I remember having like I was talking to one of my friends and I was like yeah, that's true. Like, basically she was saying how she had a Bible when she was younger. And I was like, wait, did I have a Bible when I was younger? Like a study Bible? And I did. I just didn't call it a study Bible. I just, it was just a teen Bible. But that's a study Bible for teens to make it easier for us like, you know, when you were at that age to read. Oh yeah, I definitely did. So that just made me like really happy um, that I'm on the right path path of just making it easy for myself to read the Bible. I was getting a little tired. Not gonna lie, not gonna yarn. Was getting a little tired, but we pushed through. I got through one and two, cause basically I'm gonna be doing it every day, reading a new chapter. So definitely would recommend. Uh, I was getting a little emotional just thinking about checking myself basically. And I'm, I feel like I'm always checking myself and trying to make sure that I am just living <laughs> the way the Bible tells us to live and just, uh, it just be, yeah. That was a check for me. But I'm enjoying it so far. I probably will update anything that I feel like I wanna update y'all on, but I just, I'm, I'm very personal with my relationship with God. Like I see people talking about it a lot more now, but I just like to be, more personal with it. So if y'all want to find like somebody that does talk about stuff like that, like have Bible studies on their stuff. My friend Jalen, she does a lot of that. Um, and I like her, her vlogs for that. It'd be good stuff. So if y'all be wanting to like, you know, have somebody talk more openly about their walk with God and stuff, definitely follow her channel. I just want to update y'all on that because yeah, it took me a little minute, not even a little minute. It took me like three days or about a week about a week to really look at it and like go through it so now that i've went through it i can say that i actually liked it So Jalen had this uh, cardigan that she likes, loves down, but it was like pulling right here. So I had sewed it up for her. And look at how like seamless it looks. My mom would be so proud of me. Yeah, looks really good. Like you can't even tell, you know what I'm saying? This ain't it right there. Yeah, get into it. So we are about to have pasta night. Yeah, doggy. We got everything. Right. Yeah, we got the joint that we got from the farmer's market, the cream Swiss. Yeah, let's get into it. Pasta, I mean, not pasta. Fresh basil, fresh parsley, fresh chicken. Oh, Nara, do you want to fight? Um, thought she said something. Thought she said. Thought she it's the she, chat for a second. She's been quiet since we went to the farmer's market. I know, she ain't made nothing from scratch. 
She ain't learned in a little while, so hey. 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 This is how it came out. She got the red pasta. So we did red and white because <laughs> that one was happening with the bigger tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it was happening. giving it too watery. Like, I don't know what was going on with that one, but we're gonna try it. This is the one I'm really excited to try. So let's, let's, let's see, let us see. Oh, and then we got salad as well. Well. I can't forget the ginger ale. The ginger ale, ginger ale. Thank you. Ginger ale, ginger ale, ginger ale. I don't want to look like he got one. I feel like I'm not When you don't want to dirty up another dish, I'm going to use this big duty, this nice. Cut up my salad. God, they didn't break these noodles up. I like that. God. Noodles. I saw Nara Smith talking about she was eating some pasta one day and she was slurping it down and she was like the pasta was really good but it was just a bit too creamy for me so my mom I'm like but some people like less sauce more noodle that's good I have this thing but yeah so the pasta the cream truffle joint it could have had more truffle in it in my opinion um it was like lacking flavor yeah we both gave it a six out of ten well she said six well she tried the red one she said that was a 6.2 but comparing it to the last time that we had made the pasta sauce from scratch nothing is comparable to that so nasty y'all like ew 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 i don't think that they gave me the right one um because it just tasted different like it tastes like it didn't taste sweet like the one that i had at the um, farmer's market so i'm kind of irritated i'm like oh my gosh but i mean it's still for good not good cause but just supporting a smaller business or whatever but i want to do the laziest skincare routine in life because i'm ready to roll into the bed like literally i'm going to throw myself into the bed mm. yeah that's waterproof it's not coming on okay
way you see me like tea. Like, I don't want to do too much skincare. I'm ready to take my makeup off. That's all I do. Brush some tea. Do a little skincare. Not even like literally a little poquito. Because I just put the Tower 28 on in my mind. It helps with bacteria. So hopefully it'll help just tonight so I don't get any any ish on my face and I'm about to put my scarf on and go to sleep I will see you guys tomorrow in October day six I want to say I don't know October day six I want to say though but love you guys and I will see you tomorrow like comment share and subscribe and yeah I hope you have a beautiful beautiful rest of your day or evening bye